check your Jupiter and your Sagittarius and your astrological chart. All information looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you for supporting Psychic Sid and all the voodoo products and services you're looking for in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Let's get right into it. Show me Sagittarius's past life to all clients. You will be receiving your readings today. All right. Okay, show me Sagittarius's past life. Okay. You have South America and you have Mayan. Okay. So the Mayan pyramids could be significant to you. Some of you guys could be from South America from your past life. Okay. I feel like what was most important to you was the music and the food. And the vibration, the feeling of innovation that you received in these locations in your past life. Okay, and mother. So your mother greatly impacted you in your past life. Okay, you could have also been a mother. Or motherhood was really important. Most Sagittarius children are raised by a surrogate mother, like their grandmother and aunt, a foster mother. They're not actually raised by their mother, typically. You have the Ace of Pentacles I wanted to show itself when I picked up the deck. Um, they're not typically raised by their mothers. Most Sagittarius don't know that. Um, Sagittarius rules Jupiter, the husband. And for a lot of times, Sagittarius children end up experiencing the very resentment that their mother has towards um, their father about the lack of commitment or the lack of... Uh, Willingness to be, you know, a husband. And so they take it out on the child. The child usually gets uh, the brunt of it because the mother typically has a lack of psychological awareness. Okay. I feel like this is coming up for you. Like, this is something that has been sort of inside and it's coming up for you. Okay. Some of you really want uh, children or like in your past life, you really wanted children. Okay. In your past life, Sagittarius' past life, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Sagittarius. All right. And High Priestess and Eight of Swords. So, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Knight of Wands, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. You have the King of Cups, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the Eight of Pentacles, which is Sun and Virgo. You have the Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo, the High Priestess, Moon and Virgo. Okay. And the Eight of Swords, Gemini and Jupiter. Okay. So, in your past life, Sagittarius, you were very hot-headed with the Knight of Wands. You weren't really able to travel. Something about horses was really significant for you and like the actual land. Okay, you were very upset of where you were located and felt like there was a new opportunity for you. You also invested energy and effort and time into a player in your past life. Somebody who with the King of Cups in reverse had addiction. Um, was emotion manipulative. They would give emotion, take it back. Um, King of Cups in reverse is also the energy of um, rape. So some of you in your past life, that could have been something you experienced at work, okay? Or some kind of abuse. A lot of you put work into a connection with a player, though, and they were not emotionally available. This person could have even, like, been in a relationship and they were cheating. You 
you're also with the king of cups in reverse not emotionally fulfilled in your work so there was a downfall like you experienced some kind of downfall where you were maybe like fired or you know maybe the the company went out of business something happened and then you had a new opportunity with the nine of pentacles venus and virgo some of you guys in your past life this could have been like um in this day and age, we have OnlyFans and uh, webcam girls and you have, um, you know, sex workers, different things of that nature. People who, you know, they sell their body for money um, through that kind of service of, of intercourse or different things like that. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this is something that may have been okay something you did as some kind of occupation okay where you didn't really know your value you were hustling there was something about you were always hustling and it doesn't have to be that severe right it can be like you were just you were constantly hustling and that was not following your intuition high priestess moon and virgo it was like uh, eight of swords gemini and jupiter i feel like you had victim mentality or you felt stuck. Some of you guys were abused in this type of um, situation in the past life, okay? You were sort of oppressed um, or you did not know your value and you allowed yourself to be like a mistress or something like that and it, it didn't pan out for you. You didn't get what you wanted at all, okay? Some of you even stayed with somebody for money in your past life and spent a lot of time focusing on a spiritual connection that was never going to come into fruition into the reality but you didn't want to see that with the eight of swords you wanted to see all the positives of it and like hold on to it to try to feel safe but the safety you were seeking is actually within you it's not in anybody else A lot of you were addicted to love, like you saw love as something to feed into, right? But you were giving it to somebody who didn't value you, someone who would put you in a third party situation or somebody who would make you out to be a mistress, somebody who would do all these things, they don't value you at all. The moment you decide to be a mistress is the moment that you lose value in their eyes as well. So in your past life, this is something that you experienced. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Gemini and Mercury, a very messy breakup or ending or divorce as well. Some of you guys were cheated on in relationships. You were really bored in it. And you had some kind of awakening one day. One day it was just, it was too much. Um, and some of you ended up walking away from a toxic situation. Or you ended up walking away from um, maybe even a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn and you walked away from something or someone walked away from you. Okay? But it was almost like uh, the sacral chakra. Um, this could have been a situation where it was all about sex all about sex and wanting to feel chased and not knowing your value that chasing is not love it should be reciprocal um but with the four of cups like you were stuck in a relationship in your past life that you were really bored in you wanted to take other love offers felt like you couldn't and then one day you had like an awakening and you just got rid of somebody and yes it hurt but on some level you were able to have a fresh start and a new beginning you also awaken that somebody uh, was rejecting you okay or that someone was always going to reject you because none of this was stable to begin with some of you this also like uh stems from the fact that you know it won't come into fruition but you ignore your intuition about it because you have commitment issues that you're ignoring your intuition about Woo, that's deep 
You're ignoring it. I don't care how intuitive you are. It's something you purposely ignore because you want what you want to be what you need. But it may not be what is meant for you. Some of you would cling to relationships you know would never end up into a long-term commitment. I mean, that in itself, right? Somebody cheating and different stuff like that. Some of you had a, a father that was emotionally manipulative or abusive or just absent. Okay, you could have had parents that were like this, that were absent. Or a mother um, that could have had an addiction, could have been emotionally manipulative. Um may have been promiscuous or your father could have been promiscuous there just could have been a, a feeling of instability a feeling of instability a feeling of lack of confidence there was some kind of breakup you ended up going through or an ending of a relationship judgment this is something you've gone through in every lifetime every lifetime Something about the the foods. Some of you guys like, you know, like um, very spicy food for some of you. Or you could be trying these kinds of foods, okay, from these places. And they have spice in it. I feel like saying they have spice in it. All right. How can you utilize this in this lifetime? Spiritual commitment. You know, it's funny. I was thinking, um, I think a couple days ago, spiritual commitment um, in a sense of the original rebel, which was Lilith. She was the original rebel. She said, fuck all this, okay? I'm not going to be submissive to a man. We're supposed to be equal. And, you know, God, if, if this man, you know, Adam, if that's what they're saying, that this is what's supposed to be. No. And she did. And she chose to be committed to her and what she desired and what she want out of life. And refused to allow anybody to make her feel bad about that. This almost looks like a, like a bird, doesn't it? It's Vega, future, 72, breaking down to nine. Um, I do feel like this is something from experience right and a lot of times you know we can give advice blah, 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 but until you actually experience it where i feel like it doesn't matter how much you try to align a situation with a person place or thing if they don't want you they don't want you that's the awakening that you'll have in this lifetime as well okay okay I don't think it feels good, but it, it comes because of your mother. It's something that happened with your mother. The lack of her mothering, poor mothering, um, abandonment. If your mother never committed to you and raising you as if you were valuable, then you would drift towards relationships where people would treat you the same way. It, it gives you a little high or something to be hurt to be rejected to go through these things but now that we're facing it here in this reading this is something that you will be able to evolve from okay i like that for you all right so the way you'll be able to utilize this past life in this lifetime is spiritual commitment which is about your future in modern times very often you're also connecting to a teacher or a counselor that's helping you connect better to yourself okay um yeah and in this lifetime you will experience a love where you guys start off as friends and you grow into more it starts off as intellectual conversation okay all right in modern times very often we only make a spiritual commitment when we are in pain when the pain goes away we become busy with the distractions of life and no longer remember our commitment the vegans never lost their spiritual commitments and wove them into their everyday lives in so many enriching ways Look honestly at your spiritual commitments. How can you strengthen them no matter rather you are feeling pain and joy? Go deep within and find the longing to be one with the universe. Remember that longing and your commitment can begin there. This is about the immense self-discipline of the vegan mystics of ancient times. 
Through their dedication and spiritual practices, they gave many gifts to their descendants, including the mystical schools of Earth. This is about the truth that spiritual evolution cannot take place without a commitment. This may be a commitment to a specific practice, such as yoga or meditation, or it may mean a commitment to becoming the clearest and most balanced human being you can become and taking the actions needed to do so. Take a look at your life circumstances. This is reminding you to stay focused and committed on your spiritual path, even when it's not convenient or enjoyable to do so. Those are the times when growth is the most pronounced. Sometimes people don't know what kind of practice to commit to. Know that the type of practice is less important than simply making the commitment. As long as the practice isn't a comfortable distraction instead of an authentic path that helps you see yourself clearly. Taking this time to connect with your inner self through whatever practice suits you is one of the most important gifts you can give to yourself and your planet. Okay? Alright, Sagittarius, this has been your reading. Okay? A lot of you guys will be getting into a spiritual practice. I do feel like you've ignored a lot of your own gifts or person, place, or thing. And you've done this every lifetime. It all stems from you seeking a sense of mothering, right? From others that you lacked in childhood. And so you're being forced to mother yourself. Okay. This has been your reading. Um, Ashay.